reason I can't stand fishing on the fucking weekend. People like this. Get the whole fucking sound. Get the whole fucking sound. I'm just gonna do circles right here. Hope you hit a rock. same technique as I did the other time. I'm going to keep the worm off the back while I play with my bucktail on the front. That's about it. Somehow I didn't get tangled up. Feels so big because this this pole to the blue. Yep. Everything on here feels so big. That's the first one I got this year that didn't. He's got some on him, but the first one is not covered in sea lice. Every blue I caught this year has had sea lice on it. This was the least I've seen so far. Fat little guy. Those little ones are strong, man. That's a lot thicker than the ones I was getting earlier in the year, though. Since everything is just blues, 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 I'm gonna snag a bunker and um, chunk it up. There's a lot of blues, not all big. They're hitting just a worm, just a plastic worm before. All I was getting was little snapper blues, and it was only when I made the chunks really, really tiny. Bloodworms, man. Had them on all day. Put sandworms down. A matter of seconds. This is a nice port. Oh, he popped off. Corgi was pulling my boat. I've never had that happen. Maybe that wasn't Corgi. That was a fucking beast. Wow, that was cool. I'm trying to get right back on. Jumbo, though. 
section 15. Pair sandworms and bloodworms. It's, it's just it's night and day. So I started paddling back in because it was getting dark and I didn't have my spotlight on me. So as I get to where I need to be, I realize I, uh, I only have one porgy on the stringer. So I stop, throw a worm on my back hook with the tube, and as I'm putting a hook on my jig head, which I normally use for catching porgy. A nice one grabbed the other bait. Porgy. trying to turn on the camera. I don't know what I got here. It's got to be a little blue. This is an example of the sea lice I was talking about on all the bluefish this year. This is one of the worst. Um, it has a lot on there. You can see it clearly. Uh, but every single bluefish I've caught had a decent amount of sea lice. Uh, the one in this video is probably the least. Man, this thing is covered in sea lice. Covered. It's disgusting. Every blue I got this year was covered in lice. I don't know if you can see it on that side, this side. Completely covered in lice. It's really nasty. I mean, I could keep them for fluke bait. I don't know. Got gulp. No reason to kill a blue. 